Welcome back guys. So today, real quick, we're going to be talking about a new image. So if you remember previously, we took a look at Retro Nation's 200 gigabyte image. And man, was it awesome. Top notch in my opinion. I loved it. So what happened? What's going on? So just like anybody else, a lot of us, you know, do images and they get out there and then people expand upon them, change them up, you know, base their work off of, you know, other things. So what this is, is all credit goes to Retro Nation, you know, no denying that. But like previously with other images, Wolfenos took it. He's not claiming it as his own. It's, you know, it's right on the splash screen. You see it in the, uh, the thumbnail. It's Retro Nation's image. But he took it, tweaked it, tested a bunch of things, added a bunch of things, did a lot of work. So credit goes to him. But like I said, just to make it clear, this is Retro Nation's image. His image was based on some other stuff as well. But Retro Nation put a ton of work into this. But on top of that, you know, I tweaked a few little things, uh, you know, before the, the, you know, before it was widely available, but all credit went to him. Just want to make that clear because some people weren't understanding it was it said it right in the title, Retro Nation. But just to make that clear, this is Retro Nation, but Wolf Knows did a ton of stuff with this. So he added systems, he tweaked some settings, he kind of changed some, some games out that weren't working added a bunch of stuff, tested a bunch of stuff, made some adjustments, fine-tuned it is really what it is. So for an example, Arcade, he went through, found a few issues, fixed some things, added some things. Can't go through every single little change because he did a lot of stuff. The other things he did was, for example, he added Commodore 64, 312 games, ColecoVision, 266 games. There's a bunch of uh, hacked games as well, but you know, mostly all just the original stuff. The hack games are in their own separate area. Uh, and then he also added Intellivision and then ports as well. So Intellivision 153 games, pretty awesome stuff. He went through, made sure all this stuff works, spent a ton of time on it, a ton of time. So that is very appreciated. He also went through, added a bunch of new music, splash screens, custom stuff, all that kind of thing things he went through playstation found some issues with that made some tweaks there changed some games added some stuff like i said really fine-tuned it uh which is what it's great you know a lot of people do that take pre-existing images and then fine-tune it or make it their own or make it even better and i think that's awesome great community out there you can't knock anybody for doing that all of us have worked off of previous work and you know these are games that you know we didn't make so it's just kind of a lot of testing and tweaking and, and, and things like that it, it is some work but in, in reality it's setting up an image and hey any of us can do it but not everybody has time i don't even have as much time anymore i'm still working on the 256 gigabyte that has taken forever but it's going to be pretty awesome that might be actually it will be based on Motion Blue version 6. If you have not seen the teaser for that, you need to jump on over to David Marty's channel, peep that out, get a good look at what's going on with that. I think it's gonna be released in a few weeks. I've already got a taste of it with a little early beta testing. I think it's gonna be flipping awesome. And when I do my 256, it's gonna have video snaps and all that kind of stuff. I don't know how many games for sure yet, but back on what we were talking about with this. So this image, some people are like, it's 200 gigabytes. This, you know, and it doesn't have 15,000 games. And I understand that, but there's a lot of images out there that have a ton of games. And a lot of them, you know, it's full sets of systems that they don't even work. Stuff like that. And this is 8,770. You might be like, well, that's crazy for 200 gigabyte. There should be 20,000 games. No, the reason this has 8, 000, over 8,000 is because of the CD based games. There's like almost a hundred PlayStation games, hundred and uh, like 135 or so Sega CD games, a bunch of PC engine CD games. There's a ton of CD based games and they take up a lot of space. So not a lot of images have that kind of stuff or to that degree, PC engine CD. I don't really see that on anything. So just wanted to kind of point that out that you're getting a ton of stuff on here that not a lot of images 
put. So that's why I think it's an awesome image, one of my top favorites, if not my top favorite. I mean, really, I dig my, you know, I'm biased, but my favorite really is my PlayStation image because it's more focused on one system and it's just kind of designed around that. But that's that's different. As far as an all-in-one goes, I think this is tops. This is it right here. Can it be improved upon? Yes, it can. Video snaps can be added, but that, that takes a lot of space. Some people don't realize video snaps sometimes could be like 50 times bigger than the actual game file size. It's crazy. So video snaps for an image like this is going to take up a lot of space, depending upon, you know, file sizes and all that. Could it be expanded to a 256? Uh, maybe. Maybe there would be a selection of stuff without video snaps. But just wanted to point that out. Of course, this can still be expanded upon. Now, is it worth it to download this if you already have the previous version or to seek this out? It's up to you. If you want, you know, a more fine-tuned image, uh, you know, those added old-school systems in television, ColecoVision, C64, if you're looking for that, then yeah. If you have a data cap and you got to kind of pick and choose and you already got the previous one, uh, then maybe wait. But I, I think it's awesome. I think it's pretty sweet, and I do appreciate Wolf and those putting in the time and effort to tweak this and make those revisions and refinements. Appreciate Retro Nation putting in all the work and effort that he did to get this awesome thing out there to begin with. I think it's sweet. I think it's sick. And hey, I just want to kind of showcase it. Not really play any games or anything. Just talk about the changes and the additions and whatnot and the work that was put in behind it. I have little to do with this other than the initial tweaks that I'd done the first time around, which still wasn't much. But hey, it's here. Just wanted to show it. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button. Go peep out David Marty's channel. Like I said, Motion Blue version 6. My God, going to be awesome. Peep that out. Smash it, like it, subscribe, do all that stuff if you have not done so already. And with that said, guys, i got to get some rest. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom!